Hello everyone. My name is Chef Didar Singh, Assistant Professor, Chitkara School of Hospitality. This is the part two of the video of the title "How to Judge the Quality of the Breads." In this part of the video, we'll discuss the internal characteristics on how to judge the quality of the bread. While discussing on how to judge the quality of the breads, the internal characteristics that include color, structure, texture and sheen, flavor and aroma, crumb clarity and elasticity, moistness and cleanliness will be discussed in the further slides. The first internal characteristic is the color of the bread. Obviously, the internal color of the bread will be influenced by the grade of the flour. But it is also true that different wedges of bread made from the same flour may have different internal color. This is so because the visual effect of the whiteness of the bread crumb is decided by the amount of light reflected from the crumb surface. If more amount of light is reflected from the crumb surface, the crumb will appear whiter. While if the crumb surface absorbs more light and very little is reflected, the result will be a darker appearing crumb. A crumb structure made up of small, even sized, oblong and shallow gas cells will reflect more light in comparison with another crumb which has a structure made up of uneven sized deep and round shaped cells because in this case more light will be absorbed by the crumb and reflection will be po very poor if the cell walls are thin a part of light falling on a cell will pass through it or through into the neighboring cell and the intensity of the reflected light will increase thereby enhancing the visual effects of whiteness of the crumb a bread having thick cell walls will not allow this refraction of light into the neighboring cells and the crumb will appear to be comparatively darker factors which influence the crumb structure are the quality of the flour the degree of fermentation manipulation of the dough proofing and the baking conditions the next internal characteristic is structure if the crumb structure of different kinds of bread products is closely observed it will be seen that shape and size of gas cells varies considerably example regular white bread will have oblong shaped small gas cells which are evenly distributed throughout the crumb while a french loaf that have round gas cells of uneven size and unevenly distributed in the crumb in case of whole meal or brown bread the gas cells will be very small due to presence of bran which has a cutting action on gluten strands thus preventing them from stretching structure of different kinds of bread products must vary due to difference in the formula fermentation manipulation baking conditions and so on for example hearth type products are made from strong flour lean formula is used makeup is of different kind and baking is done on a flat surface without the support of a mold which will result in a structure having round uneven sized and unevenly distributed gas cells while in the case of white bread although same strong flour is used but the formulation makeup proofing and baking conditions are different which produce a structure having even sized oblong gas cells but the structure of similar kind of product will be influenced by the quality of raw material degree of fermentation manipulation of the dough and proofing and baking conditions the slack doughs will produce bread having open structure and large holes while a tight dough will produce a bread with close structure 
the next internal characteristic is texture and sheen if the crumb structure of a bread is made up of small oblong shallow and evenly distributed gas cells having thin cell walls the cut surface of the bread slice will not only appear bright but will also appear to be full of small sparkling objects which is nothing but increased intensity of reflected light due to the thinness of the cell walls this characteristic is known as sheen if a cut surface of the bread slice is gently pressed with fingertips the sensation could be of smooth silkiness or hardness or coarseness and so on this sensation of touch is known as texture of bread the texture which is soft silky and still with certain degree of firmness is considered to be good the slack to or too much final proofing will produce a bread having open crumb structure which will be soft to touch but will be coarse such texture is known as woolly excessive tightening action on floor or flour protein as in the case of too much milk in the formula or high levels of potassium bromate will produce a bread with such a compact crumb that it will appear almost like a block of cheese this is known as cheesy texture bread made from under fermented or too tight dough will have a texture which is very tight hard to press and rough known as drummy texture the next internal characteristic is flavor and aroma taste of any bread product could be fully appreciated only when it is accompanied by matching flavor a cake or cookie or bread product cannot be enjoyed if there is no flavor present in case of bread a number of acids and other by products are produced during the fermentation time when these acids etc come in contact with the heat during baking they impart special flavor to the bread therefore the by products of fermentation have a major role to play in deciding the flavor of the bread if dough remains under fermented there will not be enough by product present and consequently bread will lack in aroma on the other hand over fermentation will produce excessive quantities of acids and the flavor will be too strong sometimes termed as gassy high temperature of dough during fermentation or too much temperature in the fermentation room will pr- produce acidic flavor excessively long fermentation period will produce a flavor similar to the rancid butter some of the ingredients used in bread making also either impart flavor to the bread or enhance the natural flavor of other ingredients thereby improving the overall flavor of the bread such ingredients are salt sugar malt and milk salt is one ingredient which exerts a considerable influence on the flavor of the bread therefore optimum quantity of salt should be used in the bread formula the next internal characteristic is crumb clarity and elasticity when a thin slice of bread is held against bright light the whole surface should appear translucent but at times dark spots are likely to be seen through which light will not pass such a dense spot feels hard to touch and is known as core improper mixing of dough is a major cause for having cores in bread scrapings of dough should be properly mixed with the rest of the dough before it is set for fermentation if dough has crusted at fermentation and make up stage this crust will get folded during molding operation and will form hard cores in the crumb dense layers in the crumb structures are known as seams if a fully expanded loaf is mishandled while placing it in the oven some portions of web like structure 
may collapse resulting in the formation of seams when the crumb of the bread is pressed it should not break and when the pressure is released it should come back to its original shape this quality of bread is known as elasticity if a bread does not have the quality of elasticity the pressure of slicing blades will break the crumb rather than cutting it in neat slices such a bread slice will not be easy to butter also as the pressure from the butter knife will also break the crumb good quality flour and adequate fermentation are the important factors which influence the elasticity of the bread the next internal characteristic is moistness quality of freshness of bread is judged by the degree of its moistness moistness is influenced by the condition of gluten and the starch in the bread a bread may contain more amount of moisture and still be devoid of the quality of moistness if the gluten is adequately conditioned during fermentation stage it will form a very fine web like structure having thin cell walls thereby enhancing the moisture holding capacity of bread similarly the proper conditioning of starch which is influenced by the action of digestase enzyme will also improve the moisture holding capacity of the bread some of the bread making ingredients example salt fat sugar malt help in retaining moisture in bread baking and storing conditions also influence the moistness of the bread if the bread is baked at low temperature it will have to be baked for longer time which will result in evaporation of more moisture from the bread a bread should have rel relative humidity of about 60% lack of humidity will rob the bread of its moistness the last internal characteristic is cleanliness this is such a characteristic of bread which is hardly if ever has any bearing with the quality of raw material or inadequacies during processing cleanliness of the product depends on the care or a baker takes in handling the production all the labor put in producing a good bread may be wasted if the baker is not careful in handling the finished product absolute care is necessary during baking depanning cooling slicing and packing operations as these are the stages when bread is likely to lose its quality of cleanliness no object which is not absolutely clean should ever be allowed to come in contact with the product it is the sacred duty and social obligation of a baker to maintain perfect standards of personal hygiene as well as cleanliness of his establishment thank you so much for listening